In this tutorial, we're going to bring in an image that is called Placing in Illustrator. We are going to crop it or clip it as well. And I'll show you how to do that with objects that you draw yourself. So File, Place, or Shift-Command-P, or on a PC it is Shift-Control-P. Here's a photograph I took while in Esperance in WA. Now, if I just click once, that will bring it in at its full size, okay? Now, if we want to scale it down, command minus, so then zoom all the way out, and I can just click and drag that, and then hold shift to maintain proportions, otherwise it'll go a bit skewy. That's definitely not how Esperance looks like. Looks magnificent, by the way, if you can get there beautiful turquoise waters. Okay, so that's one way to bring in an image. The other way is if we go place, going through the same thing, but this time if I click and drag it, I, I'm actually telling Illustrator how big I want it. It's already maintaining the proportions, so I actually don't need to press the shift button. Okay, so let's just go ahead and delete that. So I said that I'll show you how to Place an image, have I done that? Yes, I'll show you how to crop the image now. Let's say it's got too much sky and all I want to see is sky up until let's say around there. So just half the sky. I'm going to go get the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw an area over it. Okay. Now I can give that a color just to show that it's doing something. Otherwise, if it didn't have a color in there, you wouldn't know where it is. Okay, so this gives it a color, or you can see that it is the left, what is that? It's not an arrow key, but that's all right, I'll click that. If I don't want a color, I am just doing the forward slash on my keyboard, or clicking that, that is none. Okay, so clicking that, selecting both of them, right clicking, make clipping mask, done. Okay, let's just undo that, go from the start drawing an area over it. Now it doesn't have to be a square. Let's say if I just wanted an ellipse circle for some reason, I only want to see, say that portion of it. I can select both of those, or if one is selected, I can hold shift and then click, and I've got both selected. Either way, selecting it like this, or holding shift, doesn't matter. Make clipping mask, done. I can also go object, make clipping mask, or clipping mask make, and does the same thing. The reason why I show you this is because if you want to change the shape of this, you can go object, clipping mask, release. Okay, and now you're presented back at the start, but you do have to then give this a color so that you can see what you want. I can click on this direct selection tool. Let's say I wanted this to actually be for argument's sake, a weird as heart. Terrible, I know, but let's say I can do that, okay? Another thing you can do is go Object, Clipping Mask, Edit Contents, because sometimes I want to be able to move things around in there independently of the mask that I've actually created. I'll show you how this works in another way. So let's say if I've got an object, I want to create a whole bunch of circles because apparently that's what I want. Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of these circles here. Now, what I want to do, remember zoom out, command minus, I am going to select all of those. I'm going to go object, group. So now if I click on one of these, it's actually going to go all in one thing. Otherwise, if I ungroup that and I clicked it, it is actually going to go independently. Okay, so I want to group it. Command G. Ungroup is Shift Command G. So let's say if I've got, let's say, a star tool, I want to create, I'll give this a different color. Selecting it, right clicking, make clipping mask. Awesome. If I want to edit the contents, I do this, and now it is presenting to me stuff that I can move around. I can also do this by, if I click this, if I double click, I'm entering something called isolation mode. It means that I can not only alter 
my clipping mask, but I can also click and get to my contents. Okay. To get out of isolation mode, you either hit escape or you can click the back one level. That only does one level at a time, so I'm just going to click escape. So, clip images, yes.